What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Look At. And uh, today, as you guys saw in the video I put up a couple days ago, uh, I'm going to finally take a look at the uh, the One Piece Die Ultralight Barrels. Um, so these have been out for a while, and uh, we just haven't really just had them here in the shop. This is really the only reason you guys have probably not seen them. Uh, anyway, so basically these are exactly what it sounds like. It's just a die ultralight barrel that is, uh, you know, one piece instead of a, a tip and a back. Um, it maintains the uh, the same honed bore size all the way down through the barrel. Um, they're precision honed down to .688. This is a really solid kind of universal size, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, other than that, it pretty much looks just like uh, a two-piece die ultralight barrel if you put it together, except the uh, they kind of milled down the, the tip a little bit on the one pieces. Um, but you know, they go for a hundred bucks, but the big thing I think is, you know, you're getting, um, you know, a really useful tool for a couple different situations um, where having a two-piece barrel is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and with that, um, you know, a hundred bucks for a one-piece barrel might seem like a lot, but, you know, really what I think you're paying for is you're still paying for the quality um, and just the the amazing barrel that is the die ultralight barrel um you still get that you know with zero consequences um you know zero downside unless you're specifically trying to switch the color of your backs and tips and stuff like that or you're actively trying to go for like having uh, a kit um but that's where i think these things are very particularly useful in a couple situations uh, not just for mainstream everyday use, although there's nothing wrong with using these for mainstream everyday use. Uh, the couple situations I think these things are really fantastic in is for stuff like the die dam, where uh, if you have this full uh, this full front shroud piece going on, it comes stock with a two-piece ultralight barrel, and I have this one just barely screwed on, so I don't do exactly what I know a lot of people do with stuff like this, is you screw your barrel on really, really tight and it's all the way down in the shroud and you go to unscrew it and all you get is your barrel tip and the back is stuck in there and you've got to take this all apart uh, just to be able to get your barrel back out, which is a real pain in the ass, which if you've got a one piece barrel, you don't have that problem. You can go ahead and put it in your die dam marker or the couple others that I'm about to show you and you can go and screw it and you're not gonna come out with just a barrel tip and have to take half your gun apart just to get your barrel back out. Super annoying. So, uh, die dam, really useful, I think, for the one-piece barrels. Uh, another, not as popular, well, I, I'd probably say equally popular as the die dam currently, but um, the Empire Defender, another, um, another classic example of a gun that has a front shroud, a scenario mill sum type gun, has this nice big front shroud where if you're not using the two barrels that come with the Empire Defender, um, which um, obviously you have this and you have the one with the Apex tip and they are freak board, uh, but they are a little bit of a shorter barrel. So if you're trying to get a longer barrel in there and you go with a two piece barrel, um, you run into the same problems that you could have where you screw this in and it's going back to about here and you go to unscrew it and that barrel back is stuck inside the shroud and you'd have to take the gun apart to get your barrel back out because you screwed it in too tightly. Um, so that could definitely be super annoying as well. I think definitely the more mainstream, the more popular option for using these ultra, these one piece ultralights is stuff like this, auto cockers. Um, long classic history of people uh, having auto cockers and two-piece barrels like freak barrels or you know ultralight barrels or anything like that and you go and you've got all these front block pneumatics and they're you know it comes out pretty far and it comes a lot of the times they come out past the barrel back but after a rough day of play you go to take your barrel off and it's screwed on so tight from you know it being cold or just messing around the barrel just starts to get locked in there and you go to unscrew it and all you get is your tip and there's like nothing to grab onto and you're trying to do like do this with your fingers to get the damn barrel back off, which is such a pain in the ass. Um, huge case to use a one piece barrel. And there's not too many options really out there for um, really, really nice one piece barrels. Obviously you have stuff like uh, the Deadly Winds carbon fiber barrel, um, the new one piece carbon fiber freak barrel. They both take freak inserts. Um, 
But if you're like me and you really love using ultralight barrels on your guns, this is the way to go. This is going to be that perfect way to get that ultralight barrel that you want on your autococker without the pain of dealing with a two-piece barrel and having your barrel back permanently on your gun. Super pain in the ass. I can tell you that from personal experience. Anyway, so um, like I said before, uh, these die ultralight one-piece barrels are going for a hundred bucks. They're $99.95. Um, we are currently only stocking them in auto cocker thread because I'm pretty sure they discontinued every other thread. Um, and they are also coming in a uh, 14 inch as well as a 16 inch option, which I think one of these is, I think it's this front one right here. So you get your 14 and your 16 inch option. Um, obviously they come in these, you know, these fancy, uh, you know, leave it to die. I'll always give you little, little fancy cases and stuff like that for everything. Um, they come with these nice fancy cases, pretty much the same ones that the carbon fiber boomsticks come in. Uh, I think it's just, it, it's a really great, um, it's a really great product. It's not for everybody in every situation, although it certainly could be, and there's no reason not to use it in every situation. Um, but I think it covers a lot of really niche situations um, really, really well. Um, you know, stuff like dams and autocockers and uh, defenders, uh, stuff like that. I think is definitely, if you want an ultralight barrel, this is probably the way to go. It's a very invaluable resource, I think, to be able to uh, use your favorite barrel on the gun you want without any of the hassle. Um, so yeah, uh, I really like them. They go for a hundred bucks. Um, I would definitely uh, encourage you guys to check it out if you're in uh, a situation where you've got a dam or a defender or an autococker or something like that and you really want an ultralight barrel, but it's kind of a pain to lose your barrel back, I definitely go check these out. Uh, obviously go check them out at uh, diepaintball.com as well as uh, our web store, pvwarehouse.com has them. Um, or you can just come on in here to the shop and check them out. I got a whole bunch of them in stock. And uh, so yeah, that's about it for the uh, the die one piece ultralight, uh, also called the UL1 barrel. Uh, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. And uh, that's it for today's video, guys. I will see you guys next time.